morning, folks. Good lord. Something just jumped. Mm. Anyway, as you can tell, that ain't a boat trailer. Well, it is kind of. Today, very excited. It is about 7 o'clock in the morning. I'm trying to beat all the boats out here. But today, we are trying out the yak. I brought some stuff to fish with. That's not technically why we're here. We're we're here to try it out, but I've got it set up slightly. So that's what the plan is. We're gonna test this kayak. I did I'm I'm gonna fish if I can, you know, I might as well as break it in and do something a little comfortable in it. There's water. There's the yak. This is the maiden voyage for this kayak. So we'll get rigged up, strapped up here and Safety first. I am going to wear a life jacket today in case I tip. I'm going to get rigged up here and I'll see you on the water. I think I've got everything ready. I'm a little net. A couple poles. I'm not going crazy. And they're not my, not my best poles. But looks pretty good. It is so cringy though to drag these things along these rocks. Right there is a little largemouth bass right there. If y'all can see that, but it is literally right there. Let's put this thing in the water. I'm done talking. No, oh, I don't like doing this. Grab the oar. Now, I'm also going to try to avoid getting my feet wet right off the bat, so... First time ever being on a kayak. And there we go. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we are officially on the water. Give this thing a good test today. See how it goes. Honestly, it feels pretty stable. Like I'm rocking it pretty good. And I don't, I don't feel like I'm going to tip at all. Paddling is, paddling is super easy too. I, I figured it'd be, be a little tougher. But. So we are floating, Captains. The Maiden Voyage. I should have stopped at one of Harlan's new seven liquor stores and uh, got me a bottle of wine to bust off the back of this like they do Viking ships. I don't know how I'd feel about people seeing me going to a liquor store, truthfully. But this thing paddles like a, I mean, it's like nothing. This is not the original plan. The original plan was to wake up this morning, meet up with a buddy at the river, and float the river for a few miles, but he overslept, and I never, I actually, I never even heard from him, so. But I already had the kayak loaded up, and I said, well, whilst, whilst I'm loaded up, geared up, and ready, we might as well take it and try to do something with it, so. That's what happened. So far, so good. Like I can cast, and this this kayak doesn't even move at all, which is what I wanted. I need to catch a fish. Like if I catch one fish today, uh, just to try and see what 
the excitement of catching a fish does of me jerking and swarping and this and that. But as of right now, this thing is like a Cadillac. Smooth. I have everything like I, I I rigged a tackle bag just for the kayak, so I'm not having to not having to switch bags and dig for this and dig for that. I got a tackle bag. It's it's really set up for the river, but should be able to catch something here. I need to catch a fish to see to see what it's like landing a fish in a kayak to see what it's like setting a hook in a kayak. I feel like I can do that though. I have already did a uh, kind of a DIY trolling motor set up for this kayak. I have it all at home, but the plan was to be in the river today, so I don't have any of that with me. So had another blow up and missed it. All right, yes, that's a good one. Oh yeah, oh yeah, barely hooked though. Man, probably never gonna get this fish, guys. Probably never gonna get it. It will be an absolute miracle. Oh, don't do that. He hooked himself again. Let's go. How about that? For the first fish of the kayak. Mm. How about that? Kind of prepared today. Okay. Okay. First fish of the kayak is probably a three and a half, four pounder. At least, look at that. That's what you want. That is what you want. Mm. This is the first fish in this kayak. I, I mean, there's, I don't, it's Martin's Fork, so I, I feel like the only way we're going to go is down. If I get one bigger than this today, I'm going to be heavily excited. But, let's, let's get, let's, mm, let's give her a little sugar. Look at that. That is beautiful. Thank you, Missy. I love you. Mm. She gone. <laughs> no. I sound like Tigger. <laughs> oh, man. That is... Oh. Oh. <laughs> That is beautiful. That fish smacked it. If I wouldn't have brought this net, I would have been in, been in trouble with that gal. I knew it was just a matter of time before one come up and just sucked it down. I feel like I need to attempt stand up at least once today so this is me standing Still feels really stable with me standing. Probably not going to stand very much because I don't have anything in here strapped down really. But I mean, it's wobbly. Uh, I guess that's to be expected with any kayak. And I guess the more comfortable you get fishing standing up on one, the better. But as far as stability, like I'm wiggling it back and forth right now just to just to test it. But I mean, it feels pretty good. I don't know if I could catch a fish right now standing up because if I set the hook. 
probably man overboard. I still don't know how you miss fish when you got, like this bait has six hooks on it. And they come up and grab it. How do you miss them? Jerk baits, nine hooks. I get hits all the time on jerk baits and miss them. How do you miss with nine, six, six, nine hooks? There's one. Oh, he's a jumper. Bring me in. There's number two. This one is uh, old Fat Mama's baby, looks like. But they're all fun. I heard somebody say, I heard somebody say one time, you can't catch them all if you don't catch them small. So if you don't catch them all, you got to catch many of those. Here you go. My next dilemma is do I go through that tunnel and fish the other side or not? Because there's one thing about kayak fishing that I've learned real quick. The farther you paddle, you have to travel that distance back. I think I'm going to bite. Whatever it was, let go of it, but it was swimming off with it. If I start hearing banjos, I'm turning around. Bass right here. A little bass right over in the corner. Y'all see him? I see that bass right there. Sometimes I talk like everybody knows what I'm talking about too. So I apologize for that because I know I know not everybody knows about fishing, but uh, the reason I come out here this morning is because well, the biggest reason was just to test the kayak. Secondly, I knew the top water bite would be good early in the morning. If you're going to throw top water baits, you're your walking baits, like uh, I caught that big one on, uh, whopper ploppers, anything like that, you have just a small window. That's not something you can do all day. Uh, from about daylight to about 9 o'clock, depending right now, there's a lot of cloud coverage, so I could still potentially get a, a dumb fish that don't know that they ain't supposed to bite top water right now to bite it. Uh, but you've just got... A small window of opportunity for that top water bite and that's what I come out here doing I know that big flat would would be a good place to get those bites so there's you another little pro tip of the day if you want to throw top water you want to see those big blow-ups like we've saw on a few of these videos uh, you've you've got two windows one is first thing of the morning and about the last hour of the evening to get those bites like that now on this ned rig crawl that i'm throwing out here this is all day event you can throw this all day all night till your arm falls off till whenever but that top water bite is limited Got him. Okay, get two. See that? One coming up trying to help him. Get in here, you. There's that guy. Another. Beautiful little Martin's Fork largemouth. 
So let him go. Right back down. The last two fish has come on the champion jigs net head with the gamakatsu hooks on. Good luck finding that anywhere. But if gamakatsu is not your flavor, we do it in Mustad, Owner, anything you want. Custom made to order. Got him. Look at that in that water. Get in here. Huh? There's that guy. Another one on the little crawl. He gone. Got him. Ah, uh, right at the side of the yak. Well, that was it. That was the maiden. That was the maiden voyage of the old, old town topwater 120. A few things that that I like. Some things that I that I I need to I need to do. Uh, some things that I just didn't realize with uh, kayak fishing was uh, first and foremost I, I guess I should have known this but you get like soaking wet which I planned on being in the river today so I was prepared for it but honestly I didn't think I honestly didn't think that on the lake I would get as wet as I did but the paddle water just runs down and gets all over you so that's one thing that I need to keep in mind from here on out with the big fish, definitely, I, I, I contemplated even not bringing that net, so I'm glad I did that. So always bring a net, that's, that's dumb. Uh, a dumb rule for fishermen anyway. But another thing that uh, I will always check is wind, because paddling into the wind with this thing is rough. For the last 30 minutes, the wind has kicked up. I'm sure you can hear it. see these trees moving made it very difficult with the wind something else just a few things that I, I may want to change like I mentioned previously I have a trolling motor mount for this I just didn't bring it because I was going for a I was going for a river trip so the trolling motor would have solved a lot of my issues today with wind with you know getting there getting back in a timely manner would have, would have been perfect something else I think I may do eventually is raise the seat there is some adapter kits that you can buy for these that raises the seat up two or three inches. I think I would like that. Help me get a better hook set. I need a GoPro mount. I have that on the wish list as well for the back. A boom, a track mounted one. So overall, Keila texts me and asked me. Keila texts me and asked me. She said, "Do you love it?" And I said, "I really like it." My response was, I really like it, but once I get the trolling motor on this thing, I will love it. Been able to get to where you want to get to and raise it up in that shallow stuff. There was times out there I was in maybe three inches of water. Uh, don't know how well everybody caught that, but I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to go home, clean up, do something. I don't know. We'll catch you on the next one. See ya.